What's news? This isn't. Space, the final frontier. Home to some of our favorite Jedis, Klingons, Xenomorphs, Predators, space has always enticed us with its promise. And some of the lesser-known legislation going on today is aimed towards creating a Philippine Space Agency. It's an important project, even though it doesn't get much attention. Now, Joseph, I hear you say, is this really what we need to be focusing on? There's a drug war, corruption is rampant, Mindanao is in crisis. Is fiddling about in space really what needs most of our attention right now? Most of our attention? No, that would probably go to the blatant human rights violations being ignored and perpetuated by our government. But the space thing is still really important. First of all, space technology isn't some out there sci-fi thing that we can only see in movies. The core element is based on an FTL nanoprocessor with 25 bilateral kilolactrals. There are dozens of applications in everyday life that we take for granted. For example, if you used Uber or Grab at all this week, then that's space technology. That's right, expensive, literally out of this world tech. Makes sure that you can watch the little car symbol on the Uber screen spin in place and fly around as you try to figure out just where the fuck your driver is. That doesn't even cover the more serious uses for this technology like weather monitoring, disaster mitigation, and armored space stations with the power to destroy enemy planets. The thing is, these services often double up between agencies, creating a lot of redundant work. Incidentally, creating a lot of redundant work is Michael Bay's motto in life. Take for example, satellite images. The closest thing scientists have to porn. Oh yeah, look at that low pressure area. Mm. Global warming's got you looking at These satellite photos don't come without a cost. Government agencies in the Philippines end up spending multiple times for the same satellite image, all of them pulling from taxpayers' money. It's like a shitty office Christmas party and you leave with 57 umbrellas shaped like katanas. What the fuck am I gonna do with all these umbrellas? Founding an official Philippine space agency would consolidate all these programs and make the data and images available to the branches of the government that need them. In effect, they'd become that one person in the family who has a Netflix account and everyone leeches off of their password to watch Adam Sandler movies. Developing this space agency would dramatically reduce the cost of operations that are already ongoing. Not only that, but adding and improving the technology already in use could lead to improved telecommunication services. I'm looking at you, Globe. Stop fucking up. Better environmental research to protect our natural resources, and more precise and accurate weather monitoring and disaster preparedness. And really, that helps people of all ages. For kids, it means those class suspensions can come in earlier. For everyone else, it could potentially mean saving lives, especially in a country as prone to violent typhoons as ours. Hell, the only disaster it can't really save us from is the Metro Manila Film Festival. (laughs) It never ends. The suffering never ends. And those are just the things that are in the foreseeable future. Who knows, with the right support, what kind of impossible technologies might we be able to produce? Time machines? Lightsabers? A functioning government? Science fiction now. But maybe... Maybe one day. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I want to give a huge thank you to Angelica Yang who did all the research and legwork for this episode. She went to talks and even did interviews to collate all the necessary info to make this episode possible. She does fantastic work as a science and technology journalist, so be sure to check her out on facebook.com slash Angelica Y. Yang. And of course, if you want to see me perform some live stand-up comedy, you can do so this Saturday at the live drawing sessions of the Art the Carnival Festival in Penn Brothers inside the OPL building on Palanca Street, Makati City. Then later that night, I'll be judging for the third leg of the Comedy Cartel's 2017 Laugh and Stack Open Mic Showdown in Stockpile in Ortigas. If you want to see the full schedules, go to facebook.com slash comedy cartel. Be sure to like this video, share, and subscribe. Thank you all, and have a good one.